finally, we get the right slides. All right. I want to tell you about two people, two people that are very close to me, to my company, and my country. People who have shown resilience, have faced several challenges in their life, have filed for bankruptcy, but eventually became market dominant leaders in their space. Let me introduce you to Abdul. I have known Abdul for over 20 years as a very successful grocery store owner in Pakistan. In September 2020, Abdul told me that he was filing for bankruptcy, that he wouldn't survive. His kids had been removed from the school because he did not have the money to pay the tuition fee. I just could not understand why Abdul was closing down, because I could see hundreds of people queuing outside grocery stores during COVID-led pandemic, and I just couldn't understand why Abdul was losing in a thriving market. When I asked Abdul, he told me that he used to purchase his inventory from physical wholesale markets. And because of lockdown, physical wholesale markets were non-operational. He did not have anywhere to go and buy his inventory to run his store. His customers were churning. He was losing out on income. And for him, the business had become a liability. I immediately thought that it is not Abdul's fault that he's looking to close down his business. These are factors beyond Abdul's control that are compelling him to close down his business. But what if we could give Abdul a lifeline? What if we could help him reduce his reliance on physical wholesale markets? What if we could give Abdul a three simple step solution to buy all of, the, all of his inventory from a digital app? These were some of the questions that popped up. The second person is Ali. I have known Ali for over six years as a very successful manufacturer of flour in Pakistan. And again, in September 2020, Ali told me that he was also filing for bankruptcy. It couldn't be that both Ali and Abdul were filing for bankruptcy during the same time. I realized that there is structural problem within the economy that was causing both of these businesses and several others to go down under. When I asked Ali what the problem was, he told me that he used to rely on 39 buyers in physical wholesale markets. Because of lockdown, these physical wholesale markets were non-operational. These 39 buyers had gone out of business. Ali had no one to sell his produce to. He had millions of dollars worth of inventory piling up in his warehouse. He had millions of dollars worth of payables that people were knocking on his door, but he did not have the money. Ali was in financial and mental stress. For him, the only way out was to file for bankruptcy. Again, immediately thinking that it is not Ali's fault that he's filing for bankruptcy. These are factors beyond his control. But what if we could give him a lifeline? What if we could give him a digital app whereby in three simple steps, he could sell to thousands of small and medium businesses rather than a few 39 that he was relying on? What if we could remove that reliance from physical wholesale markets for Ali to do business? That's where we made a pledge. We made a pledge that we won't let the Ali's and the Abdul's of this world die. And we started Dastagir. Dastagir, which is Persian for helper. Dastagir is Pakistan's largest B2B trade marketplace that encompasses over three different verticals, including FMCG, construction, and chemicals. It enables small and medium business buyers and sellers to come together on a single platform, do as much business with convenience. It helps sellers to reach out to thousands of buyers, and it helps small and medium business buyers to connect directly with suppliers to get the best possible rate for their inventory and not worry about how to run their business. Today, I'm happy to share that not only Ali and Abdul survived, but Ali grew his business over 3.7 times what he was doing before. 
Abdul spends most of his time comfortably running his business without thinking about what would happen to him if wholesale markets closed down. In less than 26 months, Thus the gear scaled from zero to over $200 million in revenue, serving more than 100,000 small and medium businesses across 27 cities in Pakistan. But hey, we're not stopping there. There are over 4 million small and medium businesses who are on the verge of collapse. The race is to ensure that they survive. The race is to ensure that they continue to do business. The race is on. You'll never believe what we found out when we started loaning money to people inside of Pakistan. They could change their businesses. All of a sudden, the thing that they needed the most, the thing that they've been crying out for towards the government and the banks that nobody could provide to them, Dastagi did. Ali, who was just reliant on 39 buyers, now had access to thousands of buyers. But to, in order to fulfill that additional demand, he required additional capital, which is very hard to get. Abdul, on the other hand, previously had access to just 1,000 SKUs. Today, he had over 9,000 SKUs to buy from. He was dreaming of becoming the neighborhood's one-stop solution. But for that, he required more capital. That's where Dastagir intervened. Dastagir intervened by giving them a simple three-step process of applying lending through the app. It not only helped Abdul and Ali survive, but it made them market-dominant leaders in their space. I'm happy to share that we've dispersed over 17,000 small and medium business loans on our app. We're just not helping them survive. We're also helping them grow their business to become leaders in local, national, and international markets at scale. Pakistan is seven years behind where China is today. And so if you look at that, we can see exactly what's going to happen in Pakistan, exactly where this is going. And we know the only way that we can continue on the same line trajectory as China is if we make sure that we're providing the Alibaba for this emerging market. Thus, the gear is going to be as synonymous with success in the country as Alibaba is in China. That's what we're building because we know that we have the opportunity to not only save these small and medium businesses from crumbling, but also help them become leaders in their space. The race is no more about the four million. It is about the tens of billions of small and medium businesses across tens of other emerging markets throughout the world. Thus, the gear, if does not intervene, these businesses will fail to exist in the next decade. Our race is to ensure that not only are they surviving, but they're also thriving as leaders in their local, international, and national markets. Over the next decade, we're going to make sure that Dastagir is the name that, pa that brings Pakistan into that global discussion, serving millions of small businesses. We're always looking for people who are excited about this journey, people who want to play your part, people who want to change the world. If that's you, we'd love to hear from you. We're going to continue our mission. We'll see you there as well. Thank you.